Hey, thanks so much. We are less than 48 hours from the Manitou Incline's grand reopening. Uh, we're still not able to get close to see it, but needless to say, it's the talk of more than just enthusiasts. Yeah, Caradio News Channel 13 Greg Miller talked to business owners who've seen a decline since it closed. Even on cooler days, more people are usually walking around the streets of Manitou. I definitely know that the incline stays pretty busy. The incline brings people to Manitou. And it's hard to sell a lot of I survived the incline products when there's no incline available. Since the incline's been shut down, you know, we haven't sold any. Like, I think I've sold maybe two, like, and that's just people who've done it previously. And you know. all the debris is gone. Um, before there was rebar, there were T posts. There were jagged edges all over the place that you had to make sure that you didn't scratch yourself on and crawl over. Um, and now all of that's been cleaned up. And that's good news for businesses. It's part of their daily life. There's few people, you know, that do it like multiple times a day, every day. And, you know, they haven't been able to do that. So, so come Friday. Pretty packed. It's probably going to be pretty busy up there. Maybe it'll bring some good business. I yeah, think there's some diehards no matter what. I mean, it's Colorado and people are known to be into fitness. So. In terms of an economic impact, the Manitou Chamber says it's too early to estimate, but they don't expect a big hit. In Manitou Springs, Greg Miller, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Greg. Other improvements include reinforced steps and some new landscaping, which should reduce the risk of flooding during heavy rains. The Manitou Incline opens at 10 o'clock Friday morning. Oh.